Right. Uh, I'm Sanjay Thakur. I'm a chef by profession and uh, currently working in uh, Abu Dhabi with an airline. And uh, first of all, I'm, I'm very excited about this one because I belong to Chandigarh. And not many speakers get to speak in their own city. So this is really special for me. I've been eating Angad Veer, uh, like I've been bothering him for last, uh, you know, couple of weeks about this thing, how excited I am. So thank you for bearing uh, all those things for last couple of weeks. Okay, so starting with the sustainability, where did all this begin from? My dad, who has been cooking for over four decades, uh, 40 years in cooking, and dedicated his life towards Himachal and towards Himalayan cuisine. And then uh, what we did is, uh, I did my education, because I've heard a lot of chefs when they when you ask them in an interview, ki, why did you become chef? Why did you become accidentally chef? Ban tha. I want to make it clear, since the time I have only wanted to be a chef because I've seen how dedicated my dad was and for what sort of salary he has dedicated his entire life for this purpose. So this was the biggest inspiration what uh, I really wanted to go for and that's why I pursued my uh, uh, cooking in Chandigarh, Hotel Management College. After that I moved to Melbourne for my further studies where I was fortunate enough to study as well as work alongside biggest hotels and names in the industry. Why I moved to Melbourne? Because my dad had a very good name in India. So you know, in India I saw that if you have a dad, you have a dad. I wanted to start everything from scratch. From washing dishes, goro ki galiya sunne se leke, sab kuch, I wanted to do it from scratch. And that's what I decided to do. So over the time frame of seven years, uh, when I, I worked for you know star chefs and different venues from uh, restaurants to hotels to casinos to old age care to everything what I can grab in in those seven years. Why? Because whenever I used to come back to India to see my dad, he's still getting up four o'clock in the morning going to Molana University by bus, public bus, and it doesn't justify my own uh, my own uh, current state basically that what i am doing and what he is doing here this is to completely two different things he is doing it complete for passion and that's where i should support him so i gave up everything what was in australia i wanted to move back close to my country i wanted to do something for our people and for our cuisine so and fortunately uh, when i was thinking for about everything uh, in this cycle, uh, I got a job offer in Abu Dhabi, and which was very close to home, just three hours of flight, and then we we can come here anytime we want. Uh, very comfortable job. I can I can stretch in out to India and uh, do whatever I want. So what happened in that scenario? We started a project called Himalayan Soil, and now this whole project was about Himalayas. It was all about the ingredients which grow in Himalayas. It was all about the culture which was growing in Himalayas. And what we started to do is we started foraging. Now you must be thinking what is this term foraging? Foraging is the term. Uh, it's about going to the forest, going to the wildlife and looking for ingredients. Recognizable, unrecognizable, researched, unresearched, whatever we can find to get it to the commercial kitchen. Because if you go to any sort of restaurant or hotel or uh, let's say any any venue to eat you will have a typical similar menu pretty much everywhere from dal makhani to paneer makhani to you know i can keep on going on with the same menu in fact you guys already know all that stuff repetitively coming from last god knows how many years but when i met this guy uh, dr anil thakur he's a pass out from this very college and uh, the research he has done is extensive he has worked on plant physiology, he has worked pretty much on wildlife throughout his life and it was not being recognized. So I was fortunate enough again, you know, to research and work with him and closely get to know him Himachal like I have never seen before. And then we started working together, we started knocking doors, we started going to people. Are you interested? You want to bring this to a front frame where people will get to know ki jungle mein kya ho gara? Log hai, yaar kya jungle cheeze kila rahe ho? Normal banao, tangri banao, tangri chalti hai, ye banao. They were not interested, no one was interested. And then what I did, <laughs> that was just random. Guys? 
Okay, sorry for that. Okay, so what happened was uh, we started knocking doors. We started looking for people who will be interested in something like this. So we went to a lot of places and unfortunately, as we know, commercial world has taken over. So no one really interested in what's healthy for you guys or not. Unko apne MDH masale kuch bhi bechne wo bechenge. Masale, but masale kahan se aare uske piche science kya hai? This, as a consumer, we will never come to know. There is an extensive research which has to come out to public to know where are these spices coming from. Uske piche process kya hai? In fact, in today's date, garam masala is a basic example. Will give you different kind of a curry if cooked on a different temperature. If you cook garam masala at 60 degrees, it will give you complete different taste. 80, another taste, 100, so on, right? So this was our basic thing that why we are not investing time in research and looking for more ingredients because if you are only demanding for gobi in every restaurant, what will happen? In every season, farmers cannot produce you gobi. They have to, they have to look for alternatives, right? So they will do whatever they can do to, to get that gobi naturally, unnaturally, or either way they can bring it to you guys. But then again, if we have seasonal ingredients which grow throughout the year, not just in Himachal, in every state, every state have its own versatility, then those ingredients can come onto the menu. We spoke to chefs in different hotels, different establishments, their issue was that consumer is not ready to try new things. And from the consumer end, also there was no botheration about it. Ki, let's try something new. Paisa lagana hai, to usi mein lagao jo hume pata hai. Nahi cheez mein paisa laga ke, there is a no point. So this was one of the biggest challenge we had. Then what we did, we took this project outside India. I started doing pop-ups in different countries. And people came with an expectation of having curry and rice. We brought it, the whole thing for them. We made it into a fine dining. Ingredients which they have never seen before. And people loved it. They like, we didn't have a single spoon of curry, but then everything we had from these ingredients which you're seeing at the back were amazing, were different, and they're more nutritious. As basic as if someone is from Himachal here, they would know Bichu Bhutti, which grows on the roadside, is much more nutritious than spinach. And it's growing just on the roadside, and we don't use it. Restaurants don't use it, hotels don't use it. Spinach, why don't we get bichu butti and paneer? Here goes the versatility of a country. It now represents spinach to all parts may be the world. But bichu butti is something which is very native to Himachal because of the region. So we wanted to bring such ingredients as basic as that example. And a lot of things uh, you're watching at the back. If we have proper resources, we will even get Sanjeevni Bhutti for you one day. And it's there. According to the scientists, it's there. There are things, a lot of American, uh, you know, uh, researchers, they come, they spend their time in Himalayas, they, they take, they study a lot of uh, things which are growing in that soil and they take it back for their own researches, which is, which is very, which is very surprising that we are not doing it for our own self when we have it. So, when we again had an issue to getting to the front page, we did this project called Triyogani. You might be wondering that Guinness World Record likha hai niche kis liye. So we created a restaurant which was completely about sustainability. It's the world's highest restaurant at the moment at 18,323 feet. It was done in six days. We trekked the whole way up to the hill. Uh, everyone carried 30 to 40 kilos at their back. And six days, we took everything up the hill. Again. Not for fame, not for anything, but we wanted to bring this message out that look, we are creating the same sustainable restaurant with all the new ingredients right up that hill. Lot of people, lot of restaurants, they've tried that before and they failed. And we meant to do it because we had that dedication. Our team had that de dedication because they really wanted to do something for the people. And they are all self-funded people. We don't have big organizations standing behind us telling us, yeah, free fund hai, karo. And it's not that travel show where you go, you have 10 cameras with you, sir, make up kallo, aapne khana banana hai. It's not, it was raw, it was organic and that's why there was struggle. And that's why we were awarded for that struggle. And we realized after that we gained a lot of popularity internationally. 
people started asking us can we come to himalayas can we research with you can we help you with something which was great but again on the on the side of indian indian media it was not picked up again because i don't know if we are not interested or we are not into our own health or why we don't focus on more organic or or i would say real organic uh, things here's a research there's a very interesting book by mr cohen uh, it's about how many people can earth sustain and if you read that book there some shocking facts I've, i've kept the numbers here amount of old world crops which used to grow at the, at that time with their calories to now which has reduced down dramatically i know climate change is an issue but this is a serious issue which is growing again completely this super fast the population basically population is growing in such a way that is faster than bacteria bacteria can multiply itself within 6 hours to from number 1 to 22000 numbers bacteria can do that in 6 hours but indians indians or in fact the whole population is doing it in double the square so that's really shocking and then you come to know about these figures when you go up to that range 18000 because then you will realize that oxygen is thinning down so we are constrained in this planet under that very thin layer or jo bhi resources hain it gonna grow in right this range either we respect it right now or we regret it later so this was the factors which i was showing you what is the main purpose of this whole thing is about feeding soil well if we start feeding our soil well soil will feed us back well that is the main thing because what's currently happening is pesticides to artificial ingredients been injected to soil just to grow things faster and unnaturally and we are not realizing it right now which we going to realize it a little bit later because the disease obesity i would say a state it's it's kind of a disease which is growing very quickly in number and we will see it that how quick it's growing it's, it's really shocking and all the facts because today we have a time constraint so all the factors are there in in the in the in the book so please if i would uh, request you to have that read and you will be uh, i mean i don't know shocked to to read all the factors basic example of farming uh, the picture which you saw of sheep grain farming on the right hand side and the f- natural farming we are feeding herbivorous animals with grains and what is it doing it's just adding extra unnecessary thing which is not required because sheep have rumen in them which can easily digest that grass into energy and which is which is sustainable enough for a sheep to be fed on but we have to grow it faster because hum logo ki boti khane ki jo speed hai it's faster so we have to get that product out faster right so we have to be very considerate about what we eat and how we eat and how we demand from the industry from our industry from chef industry that chefs we have we have to and we want to try something new in a restaurant you must be going to any sort of restaurant talk to the chef say why don't you get some new ingredient because change will start from one small restaurant to to i don't know it can it can multiply itself so i think if everyone do their own bit Uh, uh then it will be definitely in uh, in success in future but we have to take steps right now for this and start uh, really thinking about it very seriously and i'm going to play one last video about our uh, everest uh, triogani the restaurant that how did we make it can we play the video please the last video and then i will uh, conclude my talk with that thank you so much and uh, anything else regarding the same please feel free to drop uh on on instagram on any any portal we will leave it here thank you everyone thanks